Hey, this is Ellie from the Maxon Training Team. And in this Redshift quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can render splines with the RS object tag. Here's a quick scene set up with a spline, cloner and displacer. By default, splines can't be seen in the render view. However, if you add an RS object tag to the spline object, you can then render these as different shape geometry. Redshift will automatically detect that this is a spline and will display the curve menu in the object tag. These can be rendered as hair strands or polygon based curves using the mode from the drop down menu. And now you can also see them in your render view or IPR. Here you can adjust the thickness of each curve and using scale you can vary the width of the curves using a custom spline graph. When resampling is enabled you can adjust the steps for the curve. Higher steps will result in a smoother look, great for close ups. But you can also control the subdivision type to smooth out the trails. Fixed uses a value from 0 to 8 in the max subdivisions to determine how many times your spline will be segmented. Adaptive will give you the most optimized result and will subdivide based on where it's necessary. Finally, don't forget to add your materials for that great final look. Thanks for watching. If you like these quick tips, please like and subscribe.